How long does water need to boil to kill bacteria and viruses? Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss a topic that is not only interesting but also crucial for your health. We're going to talk about boiling water and how long it needs to be boiled to kill bacteria and viruses. The simple act of boiling water can help ensure that it's safe to consume, especially when you're unsure of the water's origin or quality. Why boil water? Boiling water is one of the most effective ways to kill off any potential harmful bacteria, viruses, or parasites that might be lurking in your water. This simple process doesn't require any special equipment or expensive filters. A simple stove, kettle, or campfire is enough to get the job done. How long does it take to boil water? You might be wondering how long you need to keep your water boiling to ensure it's safe to drink. While boiling water reaches its maximum temperature at 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, the key isn't the temperature, but rather the time. For most bacteria and viruses, a full rolling boil for one minute is generally enough to kill them off. It's important to note that this guideline applies at sea level. If you are at a higher altitude, where water boils at a lower temperature, you should boil the water for longer. What about higher altitudes? At higher altitudes, the boiling point of water decreases due to the lower atmospheric pressure. As a rule of thumb, for every 1,000 feet above sea level, you should increase the boiling time by one minute. So, if you are 5,000 feet above sea level, you should boil the water for at least five minutes. Are there any exceptions? There are some heat-resistant organisms like certain types of parasites which can survive boiling temperatures for short periods of time. But even these hardy organisms are generally killed by a sustained boil of 5 to 10 minutes. So to sum up, boiling water for one minute is a general guideline for killing bacteria and viruses, but you should adjust the time according to your altitude and the specific organisms that might be in your water. Remember, when in doubt, boiling a bit longer is always safer. Hope you found this video informative and helpful. Stay healthy, and see you in the next one.